spot if we go along the river and take a picture like mountain in the forest. It's beautiful. We can do that, no? No. No. <laughs> This is the Mirror Lake. Basically now this is wind and this is the Ripple Lake. So we will rename it like Ripple Lake. Now we're going up there to the mountain, the sunset location. Expect epic conditions tonight. Photography, you know? This is crazy. Uh, just say a couple, uh, one sentence to him and just go to your location and start setting up. So now we stopped on the way in this beautiful canyon and uh, actually it's just one hour till sunset and now I'm planning to find a beautiful spot here in this small park. I see uh, river bend, but now it's a bit closed by the foreground by rocks. So I'm trying to go to the edge here and uh, finding some flowers or some plants in the foreground. But let's go and find. Imagine people hiking up there to the top, like sitting there and enjoying the sunrise or sunset. Do you think it's going to be a nice picture from there? Yeah, I think so. Especially at sunrise. But there, if there is nothing in the foreground, it's just going no, to... No, no, no. There are crazy rocks on the foreground. Oh, okay. Like okay. you can stay on this rock and measure like a person. Oh, staying. that's true. That's true. So this is like a kind of uh, alternative for uh, sunrise. So you can start at 2 a.m., climb there and wait for... But technically you can backpack there, right? Uh, and uh, set up the tent. If there is a place for tent. Sometimes there is uh, such rocks, there are no places for tent. But you can sleep on the rocks, no? No, you cannot. Maybe some sort of a, like a mattress, inflatable mattress. Well, the problem is that it's quite cold in the night, and sometimes the, also the humidity concentrated, you know, condens uh, condensing on the sleeping tent. Oh, okay. So if this is quite a river, and it yeah. might be very humid, and then your sleeping bag is soaked with humidity. Oh, okay. And just dying. <laughs> My lens is uh, still wet. You know, it, it was after the shower. Guess why? Because it's after proxy, proxy falls. What? Did you did you change shape? Because it wasn't like this. This is you. You cut it yourself, right? Of course, I cut it. You know, just if uh, uh, some. If, I'm always shooting in the night. I just love night photography. Photography and imagine if someone will come in the night yeah. and just try to kill you. Oh, you or can say, poke him with this lens. Yeah, I'll say like, give me your camera. <laughs> so in this case, I have, I will show the sharp thing here. Oh. <laughs> try to take it from me. Don't, don't come close to Daniel Corzo. Yes. Or Daniel Corzo. Do not mess with me. Do not, do not mess. Do not ever mess with me. <laughs> But with all seriousness, like why did you why did you cut it? Because it fell once it, it was broken in stone. Oh. So you see the hood saving your lens actually. This is quite nice quality of the hood. It's uh, it felt just uh, on a very strong Patagonia wind and just cut uh, just fell you know, with wow. tripod. So the tripod was staying here and the wind was blowing so strong that it just fall on the side. But you, but you know, yeah. I actually thought this is some sort of a secret your personal know-how that you don't want to share. Like why your lens has such a hood that this crazy. One six, way? Six kilometers, yeah, one way. One way. Uh, six kilometers back. Twelve. And then another six, right? If we go back. Correct? Yeah, yeah. So, twelve in total, and then the second time, twelve. Yeah, in the night uh, as well. 12 as well. Okay. So 24. 24 kilometers per day. We have with cloud 
first one second or maybe even up to several minutes and the first to very promising like you see that little slit of clear skies that's what daniel looks for so if you've noticed guys daniel is not in the rush at all he's calm he knows his stuff just really slowly moving everything <laughs> yeah so it's, that's what's called being professional not worry Everything is going to come. He planned everything. You were saying that when you're shooting into the sun, do not use filters because it's going to flare. Uh -huh. However, today you did the opposite thing. But the sun was very dim. Okay. It wasn't bright at all. Okay, so... It was just behind clouds. I mean, direct sun like yesterday. Like it was an island and uh, ah. very bright sun. So then it's not advisable to use, right? Yeah, so because every glass is uh, gonna flare. Uh, producing flares. Okay. And even a single uh, piece of dust, you know, that also, like a speck, it produces uh, ah. a single flare or haze. So I it's see. It's very hard to get rid of haze. So uh, today when you were shooting, it didn't affect your quality, Not right? Not at all. Okay. Well, you must remember that filters still affect the quality, so they reduce the sharpness a little bit. Okay. So that's why I'm using only best glass. Yeah, best glass. <laughs> <laughs>